Hey guys, Kyle here, and today we are going to be covering somewhat of a tutorial and somewhat of a utility, and that is referred to as the player database. This was a concept kind of created by Rx way back in the day, but it requires a lot less work to use now that you have macros. I meant to make a video on this a while ago, but it kind of got lost inside of a project somewhere and I kind of never saw it again until recently. So the basic concept here is to have a data storage that is tied to players. This could be useful for a large variety of mini games or servers or maps. The basic concept is each player gets to have data that is unique to them that you can grab and save uh, inside of a data storage without having to use scoreboards or selectors or anything like that. So this data pack is actually pretty small. It will be on uh, probably on a GitHub or just as a Dropbox link, but it's really, really simple. So you have three functions, get me, new player, and save me. So get me allows you to grab a player's stored specific data, new player, adds a player to the database and save me saves that player's data. And of course, new player is kind of derivative of save me uh, because it's kind of like saving, but with a new one. And then there is a set of private functions, which are just macroed functions to help us interface with the database. So the basic concept is you have an array of players and each player has an entry that has keys for their UUID. So based on what UUID a player has, they are going to have a different uh, entry in the database. So inside here, I'm going to go through an example of how to use this. I'm going to use function PDB and I'm going to do new player. Now, when I do data get storage PDB main. So if I go inside of my saves data folder, then you will have a file here, a dat file called command storage PDB. And that is all your player database. So if you ever want to back up the player database, you can just make a copy of this file at that given time and you'll have a saved copy. Anyways, so we're going to do data get storage PDB main. If I look at PDB main, you can see that it has some args data, which is just temporary data. And then it has this thing called players, which is a one dimensional array where each element has a tag. In this case, I have UUID, I, and then it has the four ints. And that is the exact UUID of my player. Nobody else can have it. So now if I wanted to save data to this player, I would probably do this inside of a function so that you can uh, handle each player separately. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this in commands anyways, but essentially what I need to do is do slash function PDB get me. And so obviously the player that runs this command is the player which it obtains. Now, if you do execute as at a, then things will get overwritten and nothing will work. So this is really a data pack only kind of utility because you need to handle one player at a time and you need to be able to do as at a run function. And then in the function, you run this function paired with other things. And so then it will handle one player at a time. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, uh, I'll try to remember to link a video on how data packs and functions work, but essentially you're allowed to use fake players in temporary locations. As long as you're handling everything within the same function, it has to do with, it's similar to like recursion anyways. So I'm going to run this and it will do take my data and put it on pdb main out. So when you run get me, it will put the data associated with that player on out. And when you run save me, it will go from in and put that onto the player's save. And so naturally what I need to do is I need to do data modify storage pdb main in set value. And then I'll do something like class to be. All right, so this will give me some class with, or maybe I'll give it like a string, like farmer, okay? So now if I run save me, then when I do data get storage PDB main players, you'll see that class is now saved inside of my player UUID based storage. And when I run get me, then you will see that on out, it has that class associated with the player. So if I wanted to edit the class, then I would just do data modify. I would I would run the get me function. So this is basically the basic flow of your commands. If you had a function, you would run get me. Then you would run data modify storage PDB main in set from storage PDB main out. So you would make a copy of what you just grabbed. Then you would do data modify data modify storage pdb main in dot class and i would do set value and then 
something like something else like night and then I would close it off with a function pdb save me all right so I would do all three of these things uh, it needs to be execute as at p and if I run this command and then I take a look at the storage, you'll see that now I have Knight as my class. So very simple concept, but very powerful. I used this personally inside of a project that I was working on a while ago that I never finished, which was Arena Brawl remade uh, in vanilla. And I used it to save what spells the player had equipped and what spells they had unlocked in the shop. All these kind of things very useful if you're making like an rpg you want to know what class they are maybe what level they are and the other nice thing about player uh the pdb is if your players if you are concerned about like scoreboards getting out of whack or you need to change scoreboards and people had stuff saved on that scoreboard like their level you can instead save all of the important data on the pdb instead of on scoreboards so then you can always make a backup of your players levels and coins and whatnot by just copying this pdb file and then you can manipulate whatever the hell else you want on those scoreboards you can change the scoreboards you can delete them you do whatever you want because all of your players data is stored on the database instead so it's very nice for organization on on that in that regard i do want to say apologize for the lack of uploads lately i've actually been you know doing a lot of real work and doing a lot of uh, when i'm not doing real work i'm doing a lot of work in unreal engine and just trying to put things together and learn new things. So I've been kind of not focusing on Minecraft. Uh, also all the updates that have come out, uh, I usually make a video on like new command stuff, but there really hasn't been anything interesting related to commands lately. But once there is, you can know for sure that I will make a video on it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.